Fresh air, baby. What's up, guys? I'm Mitch Marrero, and this screen is my YouTube channel. So I'm doing this video right now, and bright and early, I just woke up 10 minutes ago. I feel like I shouldn't make a video. So today, I wanted to share with you guys and talk about and raise discussion on being in a dark place in your life or how people say being at rock bottom. How do you even survive that? You know, what it means to be at rock bottom. Are you really a piece of shit <laughs> when you're at rock bottom or not? The reason why I'm making this video is because I feel like I'm not necessarily at the top of the, my mountain. I'm right now in the valley of it. I'm at the bottom and I've been there before, you know, in a different stage in my life. And I'm sure everyone has been there before because that's how life works. Life is not a straight path. It's not a controllable straight path where you can, you know, consistently stay in the same direction because life will hit you with all kinds of different things and you will be knocked off your course. And you know, things will happen that will make you, you know, fluctuate up and down. And so I'm gonna start this video with a quote that Osho says, actually, I'm not gonna quote it because I don't, I don't remember it, but it goes something like this. What's wrong with the valley? What's wrong with being in the valley? It's a place of rest. It's a place where your body, your mind, your spirit, everything that you are is in need of a rest. And is, that is the reason why you are in this down part of your life, stage of your life. And so when you're in that valley, when you're not on the top of that mountain, enjoy it. Take your time and relax to restore yourself so you can regain life and move up again. And when I heard that, it made me feel so much better about being down in life because we all are down in life once in a while. You know, things don't go our way or, you know, something happens that change our circumstances and, you know, just things happen. And so being in a dark place doesn't have to be dark anymore. It can just be, all right, this is this time in my life. And this is all have to do, this all has to do with, again, this is a very generic, you know, vanilla saying and is much deeper when I mean it. But when you follow your heart, this is exactly what happens. It's the understanding of the fluctuation of life. And you know that you can never predict or control what's coming at you. And so you have to just flow with life. Like, pretend life's like wind. And you're just a piece of grass. If you're going up, you're going up. If you're going down, you're going down. But you can lean yourself in different directions, obviously. And you can, you know, at some point, I think, control a little bit of your life and so you know you always obviously have to do what you can you know to make your life better but if you're forced to be in a in the valley don't just sink in the quicksand of yourself be aware of it rather look around feel where you're at in your life Fe ask yourself why I got here where I where was I before and take the rest needed so you can regain and restore yourself so you can climb so you can have the proper equipment to climb that mountain up again so right now uh, I actually feel like I'm dwelling at the bottom of this mountain I'm in the valley right now and it seemed like I wasn't accepting it you know for, for a little bit and you know, I was trying to go against it, and I would, you know, try to outmatch my circumstances and fight through it. Um, and you know, where I would get places, but the sacrifices I had to make was ridiculous. It was unbearable, and I don't think it was worth it. And then, you know, the other day, Jess comes up to me and shows me this quote. Um, from Osho and just reminded me like what 
What are you doing, dude? What are you trying to fight? It was clear to me that I had to just surrender myself to whatever the hell was going on and take a damn rest. And so it's hard to take a rest sometimes because you know, you may be in a situation in your life where you need to, you know, you can't rest or there's people depending on you. But it's such a such a difficult thing, but for you to move on and for you to evolve uh, optimally you will need to take this rest and uh, for your body to restore itself it's just the way it is and you know that's what I feel right now and you know that's why I haven't posted videos in the last three weeks uh, not because I'm lazy or not because you know I can't think of anything to talk about but because simply I understand that what's going on in my life right now and, uh, and, what, and what's going on in my mind and, and you know I know that the rest I'm taking is necessary so because I'm making this video it means that I've got my equipment now and I'm ready to climb right back up in the mountain and I have um, the energy the mindset necessary to climb this mountain and uh, now it's all about being consistent and you know, finding a pace and going at that pace, um, you know, with strength and courage and all that stuff. Um, and then I, now I can go into a whole new level of life because I rested. And it only took a month or so. You know, it was just my mind needed to rest. And so now we can thrive and move on. So you guys, I think this will be kind of a short video. I hope I'm gonna cut it to be something short. Expect postings now every week again to be consistent um, please let me know if you have any questions on any topics on anything you want to talk about anything to do with life remember this channel's all about growth and creating awareness of self in other people so they can make whatever portrait they want to make of life in their own way um, so yeah guys this was fun it was a nice little morning chat uh, Yes, so I'll be out of here. I will see you next time. Please subscribe, please like this video, please share it, destroy it, burn it, throw it in the ocean. Whatever you want to do with this video, do it, but do something. I'll see you guys next time. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Sailing to the seas with a dead man's chest.